like at all. Maybe try refreshing the stream, like the page. That might help you out. That's the only thing I can think of. That's an appropriate amount of whipped cream. An entire hill. <clears throat> there's no way it's not to be good. <laughs> going to not, There's no way it's going to be not good. It has so much whipped cream and that's good. That gave me ads. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Pre-roll ads. Ah. <sighs> Okay, drink water, drink water, drink water. Oh, I'm so sleepy. It's not even that late. It's only 6 o'clock. Why am I so sleepy? <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. Protests arise over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Dwarven made cars face challenge against an unexpected competitor. Who's the unexpected competitor? The Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests. Welcome. Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or FIRE for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm. I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure, but according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's er, a pretty eye-catching outfit. Oh my god, there's an eye break. I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna stretch. <clears throat> I'm gonna stretch and I'm gonna get water. Because all this talking, all this talking is making my throat like a little, just a little sore. <clears throat> so. Drinking water is helping to make it like not get as not make my throat as like sore, I guess, or something. You think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. <clears throat> way to not be a snitch, Barista. Phew. You really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Oh, hey. Good evening, Starbriar. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We planned to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? <clears throat> That's going to be a lot of mint. Green tea with a lot of mint coming up. Mara catch? Sure? Your drink's ready. Oh, this looks really fresh. I call this Mara catch, inspired by its origin. Mara catch in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try then. Oh my, it's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the Te Tariq. What's that one again? The what? I don't know that one! <clears throat> right? Am I blind? I don't think I'm blind. I don't think I know that one. <gasps> How am I supposed to make it? Yay, they're dating! <laughs>
Okay, Ted Tariq. Hold up, hold up, let's take a moment here. Okay, I'm holding, I'm holding. Ted Tariq. Yeah. Why do I feel like it's a T? Of some sort. does Aqua always order? What does Aqua always order? Do I have anything in Tomodachi to help me with this? Because, God, my memory is bad. <clears throat> She's a tea lover, so she always orders tea. Tea mint ginger. Is that something? I don't know. So her favorite things are Full Metal Conflict, video games in general, and Grandma. She moved to Seattle to achieve her dream of advancing technology as far as we can, trying to find the place and person where I belong while doing something I love. Check first? Check where? Because it's not going to be in the brew pad. So these are our green teas. And then these are our regular teas. Tea, mint, ginger. We've never done anything with tea, mint, and ginger before. Or really with tea and mint before. Check the list for any combination of tea that it isn't. Exclude anything you already have. This is like a puzzle. I have five attempts, yes. And I have five base ingredients, six if you count milk. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a tea. <laughs> it's tea. <laughs> I just said that. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's going to be tea. Whoops. Wait, I can just do tea repeatedly? And fair, uh, yes. Okay. Let me think about this for a moment. <clears throat> Let me think about this for a moment. So I can actually do multiple teas? I still want to see what mint, tea mint, ginger does. Mint ginger tea. Cinnamon tea. Yeah, if we only knew what that was, right? That's going to probably just be mint tea. 
milk? Maybe. TT milk? <laughs> You're right, it is milk! That's smart. Huh. Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. The taste is really authentic. Just like the Tetrik you get in the South get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. So, um how are things going in the office? As usual. Tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good pro progress with a problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. I want them to work out. The thing is, even with your help, we still need a to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh. I want to say please don't forget to rest. I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Ha! As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family. Get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay, in the off we'll stay longer in the office anyway, because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. But it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. It's n I'm not that bad off, you know? At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. Max, so PAX. PAX East, Max West. <laughs> That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it, fast. Before they give your spot to another indie. I, I'm just not sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good then, and the events in s even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. You pass the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry, and also senior journalists. I know. But I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional, and thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting Full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its market, own market, you know. And you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. <sighs> Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole week. Event. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah? Meaning that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? Huh. So far my schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until Max, I'll come with you. Yee! 
No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free then. You shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, 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 I'm coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Oh, uh, okay. Good. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. They're so cute! Got it. Now let's see. <coughs> Freya? No! Uh, Rachel. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Starbriar. Hmm, what's wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. I'm going to perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding new performers? Yeah, you might say that those announced this late are... Backups. Oh. But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes! And I'm excited for it. Hydrate. <clears throat> still no points. That's weird. I wonder what could be causing that. Is anyone else having trouble with points appearing? And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. So... A sweet hot chocolate, right? Wouldn't that just be chocolate, milk, and then, um, honey? Milk, honey, chocolate. That's not a hot chocolate. Wait, trash it? Oh god, I'm down to three trash it's. I still don't think it's right, though. And I can't do chocolate if I do milk first. Tea with milk mixed by pouring two repeatedly between... Pouring the two repeatedly between cups, originally from Malaysia. And Tomodachi says... Myrtle. Favorite things. Me time. What I'm doing with my life. As I've stated before, working on Full Metal Conflict series. Her life sounds busy. A sweet hot chocolate. <clears throat> Maybe chocolate chocolate honey? Maybe. Um, or maybe chocolate honey. No, probably not chocolate honey honey. You want that sign for your room? The one that says... Oh god, what does it say again? I don't remember now. Chocolate chocolate honey. Honey chocolate. <clears throat> Will that count? I don't really want to trash it because I don't know what else to do and I'm running out of trash it's. So I can serve it, I guess. Want hint? Um... One hint.
Yeah, I get five per day. I've already used three this day. Because we had trouble with the, um... Tarika, or whatever it was called. That was today as well. Three different ingredients. Chocolate. Cinnamon. Milk. Chocolate milk cinnamon. Yeah, honey's sweet, but so is uh, cinnamon, apparently. Chocolate milk cinnamon is a possibility because I think I did chocolate milk honey already. <clears throat> I did chocolate milk honey already. And I got honey. You would do honey first. Wait, so chocolate honey and then milk. Or cinnamon. Um, because hot chocolate's definitely better with milk, right? <clears throat> so it's got to include some milk. Chocolate, honey, milk. Let's give it a try. Chocobi Miruku. You know what? She's getting this. It has a heart in it. Chocobi Miruku. I use 100% milk hot chocolate. Yeah, so she's getting this. Here's your drink. No chocolate, all milk. That is not hot chocolate! Oh, it looks very pretty. And it's warm and sweet. I love it. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. You don't want them to make them... You don't want to make them wait too long. I call it... Milk. All milk. 100% milk. Ah, that makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Dad? What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening. I was worried. I couldn't find you anywhere around the station. So I thought you'd be here. Speaking of which... Sweet, nourishing, healthy chocolate. And... Tomodachi, Rachel... Hi there, I'm Rachel Florencia. You might have seen me on your screen singing, dancing, or modeling. Working on a new album especially for you right now. She changed her picture. Right? Because it used to be her with her, uh... Pop group. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Starbriar. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? My niece is... Suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara. Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. Hot chocolate with milk and ginger. And it's probably more on the milk than the ginger. <clears throat> Please be right. Spanish Sahara, yes! Got it in one! Serve it. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you liked it. Dad. 
Yes? Please just go home after you finish your drink. <clears throat> Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him! He's gonna help me become more successful! I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name, managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. And even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you're afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry, too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Mm, excuse me. You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years. But you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Harsh. Rachel. I... I'm sorry. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder. Because right now... You're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know. But give me a chance. You know what? It'll take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I have informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things I'd need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lesser is at the height of his career now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please, go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away, and it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel! <clears throat> Damn. Excuse me for a moment, Starbriar. I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely? Especially when there's an argument like that? Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Eh. No, I was listening. I made notes. See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it... It happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Starbriar, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for, your drink for the drinks as usual. Please take care on your way home. Hmm, I guess that's all for to. Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Are you alright, sir? Sir? Oh. Yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No. I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Okay, before we get into that... Um... Uh, warm and cozy, just like a day in Barcelona. Tomodachi Hendry. Music enthusiast and father. Family and music is his favorite things. And he's trying to be a better father while running a record store. But more importantly... We missed two stories! <clears throat> a stray boy and a lonely cat. Midnight. The boy arrives at his home. The 
ticking sound of the cooling engine fills the dark, empty garage, followed by the scrape of the rusty metal door being forcefully closed. He leaves the garage, and there she is, waiting for him to come back home. She always waits in the same spot, around the same time. The boy always smiles when he sees her. Meow! The cat calls the boy, demanding the treatment she always receives from him every night, in the same spot, around the same time. He laughs quietly as he walks up to join her. You've been waiting for me, haven't you? Here, come here, says the boy to the cat while, she pet while he pets her fur. The cat purrs loudly and refuses to stand still. She dances around him, stands up on up tall on two feet, rubs her head against his shins, and shares her affection while enjoying their nightly routine. Until suddenly, the boy decides that their interaction is enough for today. He stands up, walks away from her, and closes his door. The cat understands that their time for their day is up. They both return to their own lives. The boy did not give the cat something to eat, and the cat did not sleep next to him to help him relax. For she was not his, and he was not hers. Huh. Loving in silence. This one's a lot longer. I should get a drink of water first. And then we'll find out why Mr. Hendry left the music um, industry. Or at least I assume we will. It was a Saturday night. As usual, I picked her up from her apartment for another Saturday night date. I used the word another, but to be honest, this was the first actual Saturday night date we'd done since I don't even know when. It wasn't every week a cool event happened related to our hobby happened, so we, or I, I suppose I should say, weren't going to miss this chance for a cozy evening in her apartment. We'd only been dating for four months, and I kid you not, we couldn't have been more different. I'm the type of person who feels restless if I don't go out on the weekend, while she'd prefer to lock her apartment from the inside, flush the key down the toilet, and never leave again. That's why me going out to her apartment on the weekend was the fairest option for both of us. I can relate to her. I can relate to her. I don't I'm not quite that quite that bad, but I can relate. I don't want to leave. It's 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 my place is where my computer is. That's where all my fun things are. That's where all my friends and stuff live. In the computer. I mean, we can just order food online and chill without having to worry about the traffic. Ain't that cool? That's what she said whenever I asked if she wanted to eat out somewhere. That happened a lot in our first month together. After that, I just tried to get used to it. Outside is where the people are. Yeah, and sometimes you want to be around people, so you have to go outside. We drove to the event. It wasn't that far, but traffic's always ridiculous on the weekend. Throughout the drive, we barely spoke. Total silence except for the music playing from my playlist. If she knew the song, we would sing along to the song. If not, then total silence it was. When we arrived at the event, she changed. She became the most outgoing, friendly, and talkative person around. Even I was nothing compared to her, and I usually consider myself a very talkative person. We said to hi, hi to everyone we knew, and some we didn't. Then we tried all the games being showcased there. We sat next to each other, trying one game after another, commenting on the story, art, music, gameplay, atmosphere, any other aspects you might use to judge a game. But when we played, we just played. No talking during the playthrough. Total silence. As if she was recharging spent energy from all the interacting she had done before. Back in her apartment, we didn't talk much. She made two cups of green tea latte for both of us, and then we watched Netflix together with only a few words traded. Don't you feel bored dating me, she asked. Really? This again? I know. I'm sorry to bring this up again, but you were so silent today I thought you were mad at me. Honey, I'm not mad at you. Why would I be? I don't know. It's just that I'm super introverted, you're super extroverted, and there are times when I feel like I'm holding you back from your true self. You're just overthinking things, honey. Tonight was amazing, and I can't thank you enough for being willing to join me and sacrifice your stay-at-home relaxation time. We both know how much you love staying in and how rarely you get the chance to do it. Why do you like me? You've asked this question a dozen times in the last four months, you know. I nudged her and smiled. I I just wanted to make sure, she said, and started crying. Hey, hey, don't be sad, it's okay. And to answer your question, I don't know why I like you. That answer again. Because it's true. All I know is I feel comfortable around you. I just feel happy and calm and... I don't know. Do I need to know? That sounds dangerous, liking someone without knowing the reason. Oh, believe me, dear, I was confused for the longest time before I realized it's actually the best feeling I've ever had. How about you? Why do you like me? Who said I liked you? I was speechless for a moment. She grinned at me and giggled through the remains of her tears. You should have seen your face. Oh my god, don't mess around with me like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. 
Good, it means you weren't lying about your feelings, she smiled. You haven't answered my question. It's a secret. That's not fair, I told you mine. I hate to break it to you, but don't know is not a proper answer, my dear. But it's an honest one. I know. We stayed silent again. So that was my introvert, introvert girlfriend and me. My answer to her was obviously a lie. Not knowing why you like someone is super scary, but I never imagined being able to feel like that for anyone other than her. At least that's how I wish things could be, I thought as I drove back home, alone in my car in total silence. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago, just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s, and they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially, they were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men. They were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was, it was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. <clears throat> I wasn't even the target of the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. The girls were the worst, and the men were even worse. The men were even worse than the worst. Well done, people. <laughs> you can't have two worsts. <laughs> Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time, and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually, it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you going to be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. We're stronger than most people think. See you later, Starbriar. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then, goodbye. Cafe Latte, a caffeine boost dominated by milk. Here we are on a new night. <laughs>